Hello everybody, Eddie here for TechHunters.com and today I'm gonna show you guys how I did this GIF for the TechHunters website. This was done in Photoshop and uh, it's going to be a fun project, so let's get to it. Okay, uh, so here we are in Photoshop. Uh, let's uh, first make up a plan of what we need to do here. Uh, what I'd like to do here basically is uh, something like this. Uh, we're gonna have a circle here. Then we're gonna draw a letter T here. And then we're gonna put the letter H here. Something like this. Obviously much, much better than this. So, and after all of that, after we have our logo, our symbol, we're gonna put a video on the background here and I start playing the video and save the whole thing as a GIF. It's gonna be cool. So that's the idea. Uh, let's see how it goes. So we get rid of this here first and then we create a new layer. And in order to do this here, I think I'm gonna change here my background to, uh, I don't know, let's say, little bit of reddish here let's click ok and then we click here in the ellipse and then we create the external of our ring let's say like this yeah that works for me and then just put in the, in the center here and uh, actually the easiest way to do this here let's change this to a uh, black background here and the easiest way to do it is uh, let's rasterize this here first. Uh, we don't need this not to be rasterized. And uh, let's create a copy by holding Control and pressing the letter J. If you are on Mac, then uh, you should hold the Command bot uh, button and then press on J. Then uh, once again, uh, hold Control or Command button and press T so you actually get into the transform of the image and uh, let's make this smaller and uh, because we can't actually see that so let me hide the one in the back and uh, let's paint this with a different color uh, we already have black there and uh, let's paint this black and let's call the background color again now we can see better now select again Control t to enter into the transform and uh, basically what we want to do here is just uh, pick up the proper size of the inner ring here. And uh, once we have that, we, we are just interested in the shape. Actually, we're going to get rid of the, the circle itself. I think that should be thick. Uh, I, what I'm trying to see here, what I'm looking at is basically the thickness between the black in the uh, pink ball here because all we want is make a hole in the pink ball and uh, use the ring for our intent uh, okay so we have that here then all you have to do you select the layer here and then you go to the magic wand here and go select subject and it's gonna take a little while it selects the object once the object is selected then just change from the black layer to the pink one and then you go invert select inverse here and then create a mask well right now you can't see anything because we have the ellipse here but if i get rid of the ellipse you see that we create basically a whole in, in, in the pink ball of the size we want. Uh, so if I take the, uh, the white background off, you see that we only have the uh, ring of the pink ball. Uh, because we can't really see anything, let's paint this in black again uh, here and uh, much better. So now uh, what we need to do here now is basically create the uh, logo actually. Um, the, not the logo, but the letters of the logo. We are already working on the logo. So uh, let's go to the text tool here and uh, click in the middle here. And uh, all we need here is the letter T. 
So I just type capital T here, click on the layer so you get out there and hold control and press the letter T or commands. And uh, if you're on Mac, and, uh, press the letter T. Then you enter in the transform tool. Then you, we, we just want to make this bigger, maybe big enough to fit uh, most of the circle here. We can move around here and uh, make this a little bigger here, maybe over here. Yeah. Once you're satisfied with that, just click Enter. Then uh, Control J once again to copy this over. So we're going to copy this layer and then Control T once again to enter in the transform of the copy. Once you do that, then you're going to see that in the transform, you can resize this or basically just rotate. And that's what we want to do here. Basically just rotate here. And I think I'm going to make this uh, come a little lower as well. Uh, trying to place this properly here. Uh, I think this is just great. But you see, uh, uh, it's not actually aligned with the bottle here. So using the arrow keys, the down arrow here, you just bring this down a little bit until you think it's aligned. And I think that's perfect. You can even go a little inside here. No, let's say over here. That's good enough. And then you click Enter. As you can see, we already created uh, the uh, most important part of the symbol here. We have the T over here and we have the age as well. We just have a little extra thing going on over here. The way I like doing this, and I think it's probably the easiest way, is uh, before I do anything, once I'm happy with the design over here, the way it is, I select both layers over here holding the control key. I select one layer and then the next one. And while holding the control key, I press the letter E. That merges both layers and it makes them one. So I don't run into the problem of uh, moving one thing and then another. I always like to do this because it keeps the workspace clean and it's easier to work with. Uh, now, uh, when you're going to do, like, once again, we can uh, uh, hold control key and click on, T, uh, on the letter T. So we enter in the transform. And uh, what I'd like to do is get rid of this extra thing over here. Let's go enter here. In the, but to do this, uh, we need to make this bigger. So hold the control key and press, keep pressing the plus sign. So actually too much here. And uh, now you can see better. Uh, we're going to try to delete this portion of uh, this symbol here. And the way to do uh, this, I think the most uh, precise way is by choosing the rectangular mark, mark key here. And then you select uh, until you reach, uh, until you match the sides of the letter T here. Once you've done that, just create a mask. Oh, sorry. Invert selection. And then you just create the mask. And there we go. So uh, to go back to the original size of the screen, just hold the control key and press zero. And uh, we go back to the original size of the uh, page. Once again, uh, hold Ctrl and T, and uh, let's place this a little better here in the center. I'm going by eye here, but um, you, you, you can actually uh, do a better job, like I'm trying to do this fast. Let's make this a little bigger. And there we go, we have our symbol. Now, obviously, uh, it's still not uh, what we want. Uh, we have a few things to do here. And uh, once we have everything done the way it is here, I think I'm going to place this a little bigger. Let's make this a little bigger just for the sake of it. Uh, I think over here it's good enough. That's good enough. So once we have everything that way, I I don't think I'm going to change anything anymore here. Not much. Um, so I think I'm going to merge both layers here. So everything we do in the symbol happens uh, at once. We don't run into the risk of 
doing something wrong like here. Just to keep the workspace clean, uh, hold the control key, pressing the layer and then hold, holding the control key, uh, key press the letter uh, E here. So now we have the symbol as uh, just one thing here, just one object here. Now, uh, just to be sure that we're not going to mess this up, uh, you can make a copy of the symbol. So hold Control key and press J. And then on the copy, uh, let's put the copy down here and then working on, on the original one. Just double click here on the layer and uh, we're going to get into the uh, layer style. And in the layer style here, we're going to choose bevel and emboss. And you see that it gives a nice um, 3D uh, look to the symbol already. And then we need some texture. So let's choose texture here. And then you see it looks a lot better. And to choose what type of texture you want, you just double click here. And then under pattern here, you have several options here. Actually, we can go like this. We can go like this, maybe like this. Uh, maybe we can put some trees in there. Uh, yeah, that looks cool as well. But uh, let's keep the one we had before. I like this one. And then you can do some adjustments in here. For instance, the scale is uh, a lot bigger. I think this one here is pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool here. We can also play with the depth here. Uh, how big it is. I think this looks good. And uh, let's click OK. So we have some texture, we have our symbol there, and uh, actually let's go back in there and try to do a little more. Uh, how about if we put some bridging overlay here, uh, it works okay. Uh, shadow, no, we don't need the shadow, uh, maybe we do, let's see. No, it doesn't make a difference, like it's a little bit of shadow in the back here, but that's not exactly what we want. Okay, now the next step is actually uh, incorporating the video uh, into the logo. I made the, I, I made the, uh, the video available already. It's in, I, underneath this uh, video here. You can find the link if you want to download it. And uh, what you have to do here basic, basically is come into Window, then Timeline here, and then you have your timeline underneath there. Then you grab the video and just drop into the workspace here. So let's drag the video here and just drop it on the top of the video space here. Now one thing to notice is that this video is too long and uh, Photoshop is not actually done uh, to uh, the software. Photoshop doesn't uh, deal with videos very well, like the processing time. Uh, it, it may take a long time to process the video. So the shorter the video, the better. And uh, we don't need this video to be too long. So we can cut it off. And uh, let's say about here. Then we can just select here and go cut. And then we can actually get rid of, oh, select here the copy get rid of the access here. Then we can make this a little bigger to match oh, to match our size here. And uh, that's it. Then all you have to do is basically move the video on the top of the layer of your symbol, hold the Alt key, and then click in between the layers here. So you mask the layer to the logo. And as you can see, we have if we play the video, we have the logo and the video playing in the background. It's pretty cool, actually. Now, uh, there's one more step we need to do here. Uh, let's stop the video here. And uh, what I'd like to do here is basically make the whole thing uh, fit into the proper size. Uh, let's crop this thing here. And uh, crop and uh, make this a little to the size of close to the size of the symbol here. I'm not sure what happened here. Uh, somewhere in there, somewhere in here, and somewhere in there. So just click enter and then uh, we have the proper size of the video here. Now click and play again and there's our symbol. 
all we have to do now is save this in, uh, as a GIF and uh, you can use this uh, anywhere you want. So let's stop the video here, go to save, save as on the computer. I'm gonna put this in the desktop here and uh, you choose GIF and uh, there you are. So it's gonna show up here with this box here, then click OK. Now as you can see we have the file here, uh, right over here, uh, the entitled one. And if you double click on it, then we will have our symbol. And that's the way you do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.